Casey Gray here from The Conscious Builder, and on today's video, I'm getting into the difference in wall assemblies from a minimum code-built home, basically the worst house you're allowed to build by law, and a certified passive house. Here in Ottawa and Ontario, where we are, a typical minimum code built home or the assembly that's chosen because there is some options but typically what you'll see from inside to out is drywall, 6 mil poly which acts as the vapor barrier and the air barrier, 2x6 wall with an R22 fiberglass bat typically, maybe OSB not always so that'll be 716 OSB and then one inch or so of insulation on the exterior and then your rain screen or brick and then siding whatever the exterior cladding is at that point. For a certified passive house, remember keyword is certified passive house, uh, it's going to vary and obviously depends on where you build but like I said I'm talking about here in Ottawa, Ontario but even here is going to vary depending on where you build in terms of the site, right? Your shading, the orientation, the size of the home, how much windows and doors you have and so forth. So the example I'm going to give you is the certified passive house that I built for myself about seven, eight years ago now and what we did for that. And that was probably one of the passive homes that we did the least amount of insulation in actually. I think it was the least amount for certified passive homes because we had the perfect orientation and we were able to work with shading and the, the, we bought the lot to make it work. For that wall assembly, from interior to exterior, we had drywall, vapor barrier, which was a smart vapor barrier, two by four wall, which was not structural. This is just old insulation. We had an R14 bat inside of that. Then we had a space between the walls. And in that space, we had an R28 bat. Then we had a half inch fiber board, which acted as our air barrier. And then we had our two by six structural wall, which had an R22 bat within it. Then we had our two inches of rock wool comfort board, then our weather barrier, and then we had rain screen and our masonry on the outside of that. Obviously the certified passive house route is the extreme. And like I said, this isn't even the most amount of insulation that we've put into a passive house. That's just what we had to do for this one. But there is potentially a middle ground that could work well for you and your project. In this case, it's the net zero ready certification that we have here in Canada now. And we did a net zero ready cottage and we're releasing a series all about it. So be sure to subscribe, hit the bell button, learn more about that. But that wall assembly is a little simpler where we have a chase to make sure that we don't have any penetrations through our minimal penetrations through our air barrier, but we still stick with a two by six structural wall and then some insulation on the exterior. So like I said, hit subscribe, hit the bell button so you're notified of when that gets released. It's coming out in August and remember to live consciously.